I watched a video today of the hellish, heartbreaking, horrific death of 36 people in an Oakland warehouse in a place called Ghost City Warehouse, Ghost Ship Warehouse, Ghost Ship, right? And I saw this guy. Sound, sound a lot like he was in the fire. You know, the way he was talking. Turns out he's the guy who owned the place that the people burnt up in. Now, I got the impression he was in the fire because he was talking as if he was a victim. Yeah, I'm not playing. This guy is answering questions and getting offended that people are asking him such uh, disgusting questions like, what do you think caused the fire? And uh, did you have any permits? And the most disgusting, intrusive question of, did you ever have anybody come inspect the place? He's like... I can't, I'm not going to stand here and answer questions about the safety of the place that I was collecting rent money from people who burnt up in it. And I just wanted to reach through the screen and smack his hat off his head and then take his head and shove it up his ass because he sounded like a complete and sensitive ass. People die, dummy. You were running wires in a warehouse trying to make it a livable space for 70 people when there shouldn't have been two people living in it. It's not a household dwelling. It's a place you put furniture and lamps, not people and refrigerators and bathtubs or kitchen appliances. And you can't say, well, I was trying to do a good thing and we've created all this art and it was great, and we got pictures and lamps, and we do sculpting, and we had music and musicians and everything, and we just cared for each other. No! No! You don't get to kill or be the cause of 36 people dying and then talk about how you were trying to do such a great, such a great thing. Dude, go live off the grid in the woods. You don't take a building and break every code imaginable and say you do it for a good reason, and then collect rent money. That's called a slumlord and a murderer. Get it? Well, Tim, what would you do if you had a space that people could live in who were homeless? They wanted a place to be, and you had a space. These people wanted to make a community in your space. What would you do? Would you just lock the doors and not allow them to use the space? Yes, I would! Because if they got hurt, it'd be on me. Now, if they broke into it, that'd be on them. But if I locked the door, helped them bring in furniture, then took their money, then that's on me. And for you to act like that's, like that's, you never crossed your mind that these, that people given the horrific incident that occurred there, might hold you responsible and ask you the questions, then you, sir, are more dumb than you look. Which, which, sir, is a very high order because you look ridiculous. He did look ridiculous, y'all. Click here and subscribe to get more of my videos delivered to your mailbox daily. We gotta keep telling the truth, no matter who gets mad. Honesty will win the day. Subscribe now. Don't let the haters win.